Hello everyone. Welcome back to AITechone.com. My name is Sumit and here I'm with my new video in Lightning Web Component Series. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate you that how can we use the static resource in LWC component. So the idea behind this, we'll be going to display the images, the PNG images on a Lightning component which we'll be going to store in our static resource file. So in order to do that, first of all, I am going to switch to Visual Studio. So let me share my screen for that. Let's switch to Visual Studio now. And yeah, so as you can see, that's my Visual Studio. And I'm going to start with a new project, first of all. So I'll just start with a new project here. I'm going to create a new project. So I'll just say create a new project. Standard project name. I'll just write static resource uh, static resource LWC. And I'm going to create this project in my uh, directory. The directory name is LWC project and a new project successfully created. Now, next thing is we have to authorize the org. So I'm going to authorize the org. Now, before I move ahead, we can see we have post app, main app default, and there's a LWC file. So now it's time to do authorization. So I'm going to authorize that org, sfdx colon, and we need to go for authorization because once we do authorization, only after that, we will begin the uh, we'll begin our project. So I'm going to authorize an org here. So click on authorize an org. In order to know more about how do we create the lightning component from the beginning from the scratch, you can go through my previous video. In that video, I've demonstrated how do we create a lightning web component. So I'll just drop the link in the description box. Project default, hit enter. And we are going to authorize it. And that's my credential, that's my username for the org which I'm going to use of which I'm going to use for testing purpose. So yes, I give permission. And once I allow the authorization is done and you can see exit. Now it's time to create a new LWC project. So let's create a new LWC project. Right click on LWC and I just create a new lightning web component. And uh, the name of this project is, let's say test LWC. LW. Test LW. That's the name of the project. You can give any name. That's your choice. I'll give this name as test LWC. And it will create three files for us, HTML, JS, and MetaXML. Now, in this same file, I just want to add some styling to my component. So in this, I'm going to use here, let's say, division. And the division, I set class as, let's suppose I just assign this class as container underscore class and uh, add a heading as static resource static resource color right here, right here. class as let's say para underscore para underscore that's fine we'll be going to create the we'll be going to add a styling also now what i want to do i want to add a style so first of all let me add a styling to this class and in order to add a styling to this class we need to create a class a style class so i just right click on this test lwc create a new file and i just set the name as test lwc dot PSS. 
that's a styling class and in this styling class i just define dot and what's the class name the class name is container class so dot container class and i'm going to style as background color as let's say i'm going with the best thing about lightning web component is it gives the color theme also I mean, it, it 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 provide the colors also so that you can quickly check it out i'm going with font fill and same style i want to i want to apply for this para class so i just say dot para class font size i'm going with extra large color as let's say brown i'm okay with brown color so that's the that's the css class now our primary objective is to display the static resource and in order to do that what i have done uh, i'm going to download the static resource images and what i have done i have downloaded the ai tech 1 png file ai tech 1 image so i downloaded this ai tech 1 image and salesforce image salesforce image so i have already downloaded these two images and saved uh, we have to download these two images and save this and where we have to save this this we have to save this in our directory and what's the name of the project the project is static resource lwc project so static resource lwc project in fourth app main default and you can see there's a static resource so one file i'm going to save here and the second file i'm going to create a new directory into this so for the second files so i'm just going to show you that how can we add images directly from a static resource or if any uh, if any image will be added into a directory how can we fetch that so i'm just going to create one folder name as let's suppose i create a folder name as trail head underscore character trail head character and within this directory i just create one more folder name as image and within this we are going to save the file within this i'm going to save the file so the first file i'm going to save this here name as let's suppose uh, i have already downloaded the images so let me copy that from my uh, let me copy that from my project uh, other project and i have already downloaded let me copy that file that is it so the first file is this one ai tech one logo or i'm i just copy both of them actually trail head logo and ai tech one logo and i just paste it now it's your choice whether you want to download a fresh one or if you have already downloaded with you you can use that 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 as well so that's perfectly fine so we just added one as this one and the another one is in a trail head character images i use ai tech one logo and the same code so this we are going to save this into trail head character and image so the file we have downloaded successfully and if you'll go back to the project you can see in static resources we get the file the trail head character images Uh, logo dot png, Einstein dot png, Salesforce logo png, A Tech one logo png, and Trail Head logo. PNG. Now it's time to add this, add these logo, add these images. So how do we display these images on our con on our component? Now before this, what we have to do, we have to create two more files. Uh, we have to create two more files within the static resource. So the first file is the Trail Head character resource meta XML. So for that, what I can do. i'm going to create a file here in this trail head and i just create a new file i just create a new file here and as you can see there are two files trail head characters meta xml and trail head logo resource meta xml let me copy these files and i'll show you the code in these files what are the code what what's the code we have so that i can just save your time and explain it So in trailhead character resource meta XML, this contains the information about that we will be contain. So the information is coming from an application. We'll be using an application, and trailhead logo resource meta XML. 
I just I just specify that what type of image we are going to use. So we'll be using image slash png. So these are the two files you have to create. If you don't create these two files, then you will not be able to display the images on your lightning component. Now it's time to display the lightning component to display the images or to display the images from the static resource on a lightning component. And in order to do that, first of all, we have to customize the JS file. So this is a JS file. This is my JS file. And in this JS file, I'm going to add the library here. So I just write import trailhead underscore logo from. Uh, basically, we can change name also. It's not mandatory. I'll just use uh, import air text one underscore logo from at the rate salesforce slash resource URL slash okay, salesforce slash resource URL slash uh, and I would like to use the CI text one so AI text one underscore low. The second one I'm going to use is import Salesforce underscore logo from because as you can see we have Salesforce logo at the rate Salesforce slash the source URL slash and the folder name is trailhead character trailhead underscore so these are the two files I declare. Now what we'll do, we'll be going to assign the values to these characters. So I just write AI tech one logo and the file name is AI tech one logo. Basically, I just declare two more variables. I just write AI tech one is equal to AI tech one logo and SFDC logo is equal to sales force logo because uh, we have used trailhead characters and our file stores into trailhead within this trailhead we have images so i just write slash so we have to give a proper path slash images slash salesforce underscore logo dot png so that's your that's the js file now we have to display the images so in order to display images i just create a new division and within this division i'm going to use here lightning card lightning card and within this lightning card i just set title as static Now, uh, I just want to display, uh, basically, I just want to display images. So I just use here division. And I just had a style to this division class is equal to SLDS hyphen where M hyphen around M hyphen around underscore. Now I need to add images. So we have image tag src is equal to so the first source we are going to use is uh, the first of all i want to display ai text one so i copy this and paste it AI text one ai text one and i'm going to use the alternate also just in case if ai text one just in case if image will not be able to display I'm going to use the next tag image. Image SRC is equal to the name of the second resource. The name of the second resource SFDC. I use here SFDC logo and alternate is equal to 
sales force. Let me save all and let's deploy this. And uh, and we'll see whether it's any error message or not while deploying this. Whether we received any error message or not, see this. Definitely we are getting an error message. What's that? It says uh, invalid reference AI tech one logo of type in test lwc.js. So uh, let me do one thing instead of AI tech one, let's use trailhead for a time being. And we'll trailhead underscore logo, save that. Let me change here also. and deploy. So you can say deployment is done. Deploy source to all successfully. Let's go and test it. And in order, in order to test it, uh, okay, one more thing. We haven't customized the meta XML file. First of all, we have to set this to true because if you remember, if you don't set this, then we will not be able to display our component. Target. App page, target, home page. Save that. Save one more time and don't forget to deploy this one second. And I'm going to paste this on the sales application. So basically, we'll be going to deploy this component on our sales application home page. Edit page. And the component we have successfully deployed here named as test LWC. So I'm going to drag and drop this component here. And you can see to make this thing post. Okay. Not at all. Uh, we'll just see that why the issue. Let me activate this first of all. Mine is org default, save that. And you can see one image successfully deployed. Let's have a look why, what's the reason why the second issue, the, why the second logo, the Salesforce logo. There might be some issue with the image. That's why it's not coming up. Let me check it out. So here is the error. As you can see here, the Salesforce logo, its extension is .jpg and I added as a PNG. That's why. So I need to change this to JPG save this and deploy this again. Deployment done, it's successful. And now what we'll do, we'll go and check it out. And as you can see, as soon as I refresh this, we'll be able to display the resource successfully. Now, is it possible if I change the file name because uh, here I got AI Tech One logo also instead of Salesforce logo. Instead of the Salesforce logo, let me change this to AI Tech One logo. Dot. Uh, it is PNG so extension. Don't forget to change the extension and deploy. And. So now you can see the logo need to be changed and uh, we have to save this AI tech one logo dot PNG. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. And deploy source. And when I refresh, I would be able to see AI tech one. The extension was wrong, actually, it took time and it's working perfectly fine. So as you can see, it's AI tech one image is coming up. And one more thing, see the styling. So the styling we have applied here, static resource, uh, static resource, D E M P. It should be demo actually, it's my bad. It should be static resource demo. And that's perfectly fine. So that's the way we can, so we can display the images from a static resource on a lightning component. And at the same time, we can apply styling to our lightning component.
it's done successfully. So that's the way it works. So if you like this video, don't forget to press the bell icon to get the update, more, uh, update about the recent videos on LWC and other technologies. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can post your comment in comment box. And if, you, if any one of you require any customized training on Salesforce or LWC, you can reach out to us. That's all. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye. See you.